Look at all this leftover paint I have. I think I'm gonna see what I can use here and maybe do a leftover paint pour. It could be interesting. So uh, let me see what I'm gonna use and I'll be right back with the colors. This is my leftover paint. We'll see what we can uh, we can put together here. I'm kind of excited, but I don't know. I'm thinking it is a little bit of a crapshoot. So, um, the only color I mixed up is some white. Um, I did a combo with uh, the Artist Loft Flow White. Um, the I had a little tiny bit of this folk art home decor chalk paint. Um, the color is Milk Jug. This is empty, and I didn't have very much of that, but um, I also put some of the Pearl Deco Art White Pearl in with this cup. Um, and I also, so for my base, I think I'm gonna use this. I've got some leftover black, it's pretty old. Um, all these paints are anywhere from one week to maybe two months old, and they look kind of gross. So yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to see. Uh, <laughs> Ew, they smell too. Probably the flow trough. Um, anyway, um, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna stir these up. I'm gonna get a cup to layer these in. And I'm kind of debating if I should even, ugh, yuck, this black is gross. I don't think I'm gonna use this black. It is lumpy and gross. So I'm gonna throw this one away. Ugh. So I might have to make up more white, I don't know. We shall see. Those are, those are goners, yuck. I think that was one of the oldest paints I had. So hopefully the rest of these aren't quite as bad. <laughs> um, so I know this is from a pour I did um, like a week ago. So it's a combo and I don't, I can't really remember exactly what's in it, but it has two things and it's kind of a mustardy color. But if you look at, um, there's a really cool pour I did that's, um, a, it's really big pour. I can't remember what the title of it is. Um, but literally the last one I just posted um, describes this color. I think this is ochre here, yellow ochre here. And I might have put in, one of these has uh, 24K gold. I don't know if it's this one or this one. Um, this is definitely 24K gold left over. So let's see. Okay, yeah, this one still looks good. Um, I have some yellow, bright yellow. It's got some flakes of something in it, but I think it's, I think it's doable. Okay, this is, um, I think this is the um, Mango Pearl Arteza. Um, gosh, I have a really bad memory, but it's um, definitely um, a Pearl Arteza color and it's, it's mango, something mango or papaya, papaya, there you go. Um, this might be quinacridone rose or magenta. Actually, this one I think is the rose. This is a magenta, and I don't know what brand. So, this one is the rose, I believe. It's just a little bit of a few of these colors. Some of these here think are the same, although I might have mixed in um, a deco art berry into one of these. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix these just because they are 
almost identical and just seems like the thing to do. So this is probably a violet or yeah, I think it's probably the Amsterdam violet. Um, this one's, I think this is like um, a sangria color, maybe Arteza. It's um, more of a brownish red. Okay, this one looks very much like, I think this might be left over from my last pour also, but it's kind of a coppery color. This might be the one I added the 24K gold in with another color. I don't know, this is funny. Okay, I've got a bunch of blue. Similar, not sure if they're similar enough that I wanna mix them. Sometimes it's cool to, um, honestly, it's really cool to put a couple of shades of the same, like similar colors next to each other, but not mix them together. And if they're different opacities, they will create some cool effects. So I don't think I'm gonna mix these, but I'm gonna definitely use them near each other. This is a, some sort of turquoise -y. Ooh, I think this is color shift. I think I had some, I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is a color shift though, because it is shifting to turquoise. So, oh, it's this one. It is color shift aqua flash, I think. It's this one and there's not too much of this. This is a weird green mix I did for my last pour. And I know it has a turquoise and a peridot mixed together. And it, um, peridot's an extreme sheen by DecoArt. And it's a real olivey green. So this um, is definitely a different shade green. This one, I think this is like a cobalt blue. And again, it's just another, another shade of blue here. Okay, so um, let me get all my lids out of the way. I'm thinking, um, I think I'm gonna do a couple flip cups. Let me grab, let me grab some cups. So, cause I think it's funner. It's, funner's not a word, I don't know. I think it's cool when you can see the layering in the cups, so. So, and I'm doing a, I think it's a 16 by 20. So that would be, let's see. Hmm. Try and think how many ounces. Um, it's 16 times 20, which is 320, I think, divided by 28, which goes in about three, nine, about 10, about 10 times. That's just a quick in my head. So that would be, I think this is, that's plenty. Um, so that's gonna be about 10 ounces of paint. Um, if I did the math right, which I might not have. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna start with a little white and I'm just gonna, we're just gonna, wing it here, um, do gold, and I am really, really, uh, these two, I definitely want to get rid of these colors, so this one's kind of, this one seems kind of old too. Definitely paints kind of thicken up as you let them sit, so. Ochre. This 
So these are going to be bizarre. Really are. Um, do the gold again. gone. Um, yellow. I like to put yellow next to um, like magenta. I think it looks really cool. So that one's about gone. So we'll do about gone this is like a this is the rose but it's kind of a fluorescent fluorescent -y color okay that one's gone this papaya. So I can use this one up. Okay. That one's about gone. I'm not sure I want to use much of this. This one's that sangria. It's a little bit brown. up the this is the violet okay that one's gone okay now I'm gonna put a little more of the white And I might want to just use this up. It's that kind of coppery color. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is a little awkward here. I kind of wish I had a dark blue. I do have some black though. This is Mars black that I made up last time. I'm gonna add a little black. Used just a little of it last time too. That's why I have so much left because I didn't use much. Um, one of these blues has, um, white pearl in it. I think it's this one. Okay. Um, weird stuff. Okay. So I'm going to do the little of the greens and then finish with the blue. One of these is much fuller than the other. This is color shift, I think. And this is a color shift. Oh, no, this is the, um, I think this is cobalt blue. I've got a couple of metallic -y blues that are similar shades, so. Um, so we'll go back and use up these. Um, I think I'm good. I'm going to add a little white on top. 
top. Okay. Um, okay, let's see what I want to do here. I'm going to throw away all the ones I'm done with. And everything. This is a. It's probably going to be the muddiest, <laughs> muddiest mess. Uh, but what the heck? Still have some of these left. I don't want to put the. I don't want to put these colors on top because they kind of went with the yellows and I don't want to mix them in with the blues because I definitely think that will make mud. Um, I have a lot of this left. So let me move this over here. Ew. It's a big thing of red too. Hmm. Okay. That one's gone. gone. I'm going to use these two maybe for my puddles. Maybe. <laughs> okay. This is Floetrol in here. I was straining Floetrol. And let's see. Okay. I have a canvas ready to go. Let me grab it and let me reset the camera. I have a level three uh, tape the back. Painter's tape. I use these um, metal bars and on each side I have like a plastic lid from a tote, like a plastic tote. Um, they have little grooves in them so I like use the groove to set the metal in here. So it works pretty good actually. I kind of like it. Um, so I have both black and white here. I'm wondering if I should put white on half and black on the other half. What do you think? I don't have enough to, I don't know if I have enough to do all one color on. Let me, let me do that. I'm gonna, basically, I like to put a little base layer down on these. I decided, it's kind of been a recent discovery, but, um, I still put a puddle, but the base layer I like to do. Okay, we're gonna, gonna go with that one for the white, and then I'm gonna put some black on the other side. And this is Mars black, but I don't, I think it's just straight Mars black. Um, Yeah, it was really cool. I was at an art supply store here where I live that I didn't even know existed. My daughter is taking an art class at, at her college and we went over to get some supplies and it was a store that her professor had suggested. And um, oh my gosh, they had all these paint brands that I have never seen in town. There's stuff that I would order online like they had Amsterdam and Golden. Well, I have seen Golden at Michael's, but um, they just had a lot of they had Pebio and Grumbacher. They had brands I've never seen any other place here in town. So, and they were pretty decent priced. So I'm kind of, it's kind of nice that I sort of have a backup place where I can get some colors. So I actually picked up some oxide black and Prus some extra Prussian blue because I go through this pretty fast. And then I got a Liquitex um, heavy body in Payne's Gray because um, my the Payne's Gray I have, which I think is Amsterdam, just isn't doesn't seem to be the same as what P 
people have been using online. So one of these next pours, I'm going to use that. Okay, so now I'm going to put, I'm going to put a puddle of the black over here. And I'm going to put a puddle of the white over here. And I'm gonna, I have two cups here. Um, this one has a little more paint in it and the white side's a little bigger, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it here. And this one I'm gonna flip over here. And um, I know a lot of people do flip cups. They don't, they don't put puddles down and stuff, but um, I've been kind of, liking the effects of that so so yeah i'm gonna put down the rest of this white it's not like i was gonna use that old black that i threw away but it was gross it smelled rancid and it was lumpy it was gross so and let me much of the black left but we'll just put down what we have. Hello. <laughs> I'm having a hard time holding on to it here. Okay. So this is gonna be fun to see what we end up with. Let it sit for another second or two. I think I'm going to drag it just a little, but not... I that's... Hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, this is definitely going to be a, a little bit of an eclectic uh, thing going on here. <laughs> um, so, let's see if I can... Kind of should have probably done them the same way because I'm going to lose a bunch over here trying to get this over. Definitely need to come this way a little bit. Let me slow. Or that way. Interesting. A very delineated line. Do I like it or should I try to get rid of it? I think I'm gonna. Hmm. And the paint doesn't really want to move much now. So. Uh, 
I am thinking out loud here. Definitely have some pretty neat looking cells going on. The color combo is a little bizarre. And I'm wondering if I can, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of crossing over. Probably should have done this before I tilted it, but um, and now that I have my gloves off, I'm gonna, <laughs> silly me. Sorry, I'm not, I don't have a very good camera angle for this right here. Okay. I do like it. It's a little more, um, instead of being straight, it's a little more wavy, which I like. So... And where I pulled the tool through, I actually got some interesting little, um, some interesting results. So I might do that a little bit more here. I'm trying to think. So something a little different. Hmm. Still thinking it through here. Do I want to tilt it anymore? I kind of want to. I don't know. Not probably so good. I'm wondering if I could take a balloon to it through that area there. I don't know. I think I have some balloons. Okay, so I'm gonna get paint off the mat to use to dip. We're just gonna, whoop, water would help.
I will um, see if I can get a balloon to get water in it. What do you think? I got some water in a balloon, sort of. We're gonna try a little bit. We're gonna try it again. I'm gonna um, see if this helps at all. I've done balloon kisses before, but usually it's been with a swipe where I was kissing um, a lot of cells. So. It's, it's definitely kind of providing a um, boundary here, but it's a little awkward still. Hmm. I think also you're supposed to balloon kiss it when it's a little drier. So there's a here's a technique I, I'm not good at, guys. <laughs> okay. You know, it's not too bad. I don't know. We'll have to we'll see what you guys all think. Yeah, this one's a little bizarre. I can definitely see um, the pearl effect coming out. Um, so I think I do want to tilt some more. Okay, I'm going to call it good, and um, actually, I'm going to balloon kiss one more area here, because anyone will like this? <laughs> what do you think? Um, let me bring you down for a close-up so you guys can see. Okay guys, here's the close-up. You can see there's a lot of stuff going on. These colors up here are really cool. I really like that. Um, Actually, the um, the papaya here with the uh, reds is really cool too. So yeah, so yeah, this is a real different one. Um, I'm not sure yet. I gotta think about it. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, give you some ideas for using up leftover paint. And sometimes it's fun just to give something a try. And thanks so much for watching and um, hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button also. And we'll see you next time. Bye.